guys, Jim here with the Twin Plumbers. We wanted to provide a quick instructional video on how to replace the ball cock repair kit for your toilet. So if your toilet's leaking and you've already diagnosed that the flapper is not the cause, more than likely it's going to be the top of your flush valve, which is this right here. There's a washer inside there that often goes bad, just like this toilet here that we were called out on. You see the continuous running? So one way to test this to see if this is faulty is just lift the arm up. And if that stops the leak, then good chance that this washer inside here is bad. So let's show you how to replace it. Here we go. First thing you want to do is the shutoff valve. Always follow the righty tighty left to loosey rule. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. It's very important that you shut it off all the way because once you remove this cap, uh, water will come out here at its full pressure. So you want to get down, go ahead and drain the tank all the way. And get your hand, your right hand, underneath the actual float valve and see the valve. Put your left thumb and turn that all the way about an eighth of a turn and that will remove it. That just clips off. You see that washer in there? That's why it was leaking because of that uh, calcification in there. There's one thing that you could also do too at your local hardware store. You can actually re remove and just replace this washer here if you wanted to, but it's always a good thing here. We believe here at the Twin Plumbers, just go ahead and replace it. It's less than $4 at a hardware store. And uh, as you can see, no tools are needed. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of its uh, wrapper here. Here's the new one. Same uh, rule applies. You want to be able to take it in, in those slots there. You see those two slots? So you want to find those grooves there. And then, same thing. You want to turn it clockwise. Let's try it at a different angle here. Clockwise there. And then snap that in to the arm. You want to make sure that you have a good inch of play here on this arm because that really determines the level of water inside the tank. So once that's in place, again, make sure that that's fully locked in. You go back to your valve, turn it on slow, you'll actually hear the water running. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out here. What's good about draining the tank is that you're getting all the air out of the uh, flush valve as well. So, well there you have it folks. Hopefully this was uh, helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.